Hey folks, Timmy Tunes here, your favorite music dealer from Musical Vice, and today I'm going to show you how to properly assemble the bassoon and hold it. So, if you remember, we have four major pieces of the bassoon. The boot joint, the wing joint, the long joint, and then the bell joint. Whenever you're assembling an instrument, you always want to start from the bottom up. So we are going to start with the boot joint. When you have the boot joint in your hand, you're going to notice that you have two major holes, a smaller one and a larger one. For right now, let's go ahead and take the larger one and keep it off to the left hand side. That's basically going to put these holes and these keys in the front, which is the front part of the bassoon eventually. All right, the next piece you're gonna to wanna to take is the smaller of the two, which is called the wing joint. We're gonna take that, and since it's the smaller one, we're gonna put it in the right side hole, which is the smaller of the holes. You're gonna see as you put it in that there's this one rod that comes on down here. That rod is actually gonna go over this piece of the boot joint. And so that's gonna help you line it up. Make sure when you're putting it in that you're not grabbing any part that would bend any of these metal pieces. So grab from down here or maybe even from down here if you're strong enough. Good, once we have that piece in, you'll notice that just like the boot joint, there are two holes up here and then a couple keys back here. This is gonna be the front part and should basically kinda of line up with the holes down here. All right, now we're gonna take our long joint and it's just gonna fit comfortably in with the wing joint. At the top part of the long joint, you will actually find a little piece uh, like this and that's a little lock. The top part of the wing joint, you're gonna see where that's gonna go. So that's gonna help you line this up correctly. So again, we carefully put it in without bending keys and push it on down to get to that lock position. Then we just move it over, make sure it's locked in, and there we go. And now your two pieces are connected and they're not gonna separate. Once you get to this point, the way it should look like is again, these two holes in the front lined up with these two holes in the bottom. The back part of the bassoon is going to have all of these other keys, which we'll talk about how we play them and hold it in a minute here. We're on to our final joint, which is the bell joint. At the top of the bell joint, you'll notice that you have this key right here. That's gonna line up with this rod, the top part of the long joint. So what you need to do, press your finger down so the key is pressed in, and carefully slide the bell joint over top of that rod, and then just line it up and now you're all set to go. Once we have the proper joints assembled of the bassoon, we only have two more pieces left to go. The bocal and the reed that's gonna go on that bocal. The bocal just slides all the way in to the wing joint here. You're gonna see that there's like a little hole at the bottom part of the bocal, and that's actually gonna be covered by this key and pad here. So you wanna make sure you press it all the way down and in so when that key is pressed in, it actually does cover that hole. There we go. Finally, once we have that, we take our reed and we just put it right at the end of our bocal. And there we go. Our bassoon is now assembled and we're ready to go. Well, first we gotta figure out how to hold it. So, once we're sitting in our chair, you need a seat strap. This is really important as it's gonna hold the majority of the weight of the instrument and allow your fingers to do what they need to do to press down the keys. The bottom of the seat strap, you should have a hook. That hook is gonna go off to the right hand side as you sit down in your chair. As you're sitting in your chair, make sure that the seat strap is near the front part of the chair, the edge of the chair, and you are sitting comfortably in it. 
If you're a taller individual like me, you might be sitting a little bit further back in the chair. If you're a little bit shorter, you might want to sit more towards the edge of the chair. That way your feet can be firm on the ground and give you the support that you need. The bottom of the boot joint, we're going to have two holes where that strap can hook into. Sometimes there's an extra attachment you can get that actually covers the bottom of the boot. Uh, but on this bassoon, we already have the holes there. So I'm just going to hook myself up. Once it's hooked up, we just set the bassoon across your lap with the bell facing up to the left hand side. You want to make sure that as you're leaning the bassoon down against your right leg that none of the keys are being pressed in and nothing is being covered. Uh, that way, when you go to play the instrument, you can get the best sound possible. The other thing is, with all instruments, you want to make sure that the instrument comes to you. It needs to feel natural. If you have to lean forward or lean back or do something funny with your instrument, then you're not in a natural position. As the seat strap, or the, excuse me, as the bassoon sits on the, the seat strap and you lean it over, the reed should just come right to your lips. Now you might need to twist and adjust it a little bit just to make sure that you have it exactly set. If it's too low or too high, just adjust the seat strap and then you're good to go. Holding the bassoon. Now that we have it in the seat strap and we have it laying across our body, we got to get our fingers in the right position. The left hand goes on top and the right hand goes on the bottom. We're going to start with the left hand. Remember those two holes that we had in our wing joint? That's going to be covered by our first two fingers of our left hand. Our third finger of our left hand, or the ring finger of our left hand, is just going to go over that key right below that hole. And our pinky is just going to float over top of these keys. In the back part, of the left hand, you're going to notice a lot of keys. And your thumb is actually in charge of playing all of those keys at one point or another. For right now, we only need to be worried about one key, and it's the smallest of them down on the bottom. And that's where your thumb's going to go. So our left hand's in place, one, two, three, pinky here, thumb on the small key in the back. Our right hand, which goes on the bottom, does pretty much the same thing. Cover up the first hole the second hole, and our third finger goes on this bottom key here. Again, our pinky is going to be in charge of these keys down here at the bottom, and so we're just going to kind of let, them, let it float over them. Never want your pinkies to drift up. Always want to keep them near the keys so you can play them quickly. In the back, you have four keys, which your thumb is going to be in charge of, and for right now, your thumb is just going to kind of hover over the largest one. It kind of looks like a pancake. So, now we have our bassoon leaning on our strap across our body, naturally coming to our face. Left hand down, covering the holes, pressing the keys down. Right hand down, covering the holes, pressing the keys down. And that is how you hold and eventually play the bassoon. So let's just review. Building the instrument, start from the bottom and build up. Boot joint, wing joint, long joint, and then your bell joint. Put in your bocal, and then put in your reed on top uh, into that. Make sure you're sitting in a comfortable position with either your back against or sitting up on the edge of your chair with your feet flat on the floor. Have that seat strap put in position, hook off to the right hand side, hook it into the bottom of the boot, lean the bassoon across your body to the left, making sure you're not covering or bumping any of the keys. Left hand on top, one, two, three, thumb in the back. Right hand on the bottom, one, two, three, thumb in the back. And there you are, ready to play the bassoon. When it comes time to disassemble the bassoon, start from the top and work your way down. Same process, again, being very careful as you take apart each joint that you don't bend any keys, and that you're carefully putting it away back in the case. Thanks so much for joining me, Timmy Toons, here in my workshop, and I look forward to showing you how to actually play the instrument in the next episode.